It is Monday and I have rented this excavator right here for two days. I rented it through a company called Big Rents. They partner with local rental companies all over the country. It's quick and easy. This is my third rental through them and I've been happy with them, so. Oh yeah. All right guys, welcome back to Marshall Remodel. We're here at the Mad County build today and we are still waiting for the drywallers to finish. Hopefully, uh, they were supposed to be here the last couple days but they had some things come up and uh, they weren't able to get here. So hopefully they will be able to come and finish by the end of the week. But while I've been waiting for them, I cleared out uh, probably two or three more acres of uh, brush and dead trees and thorn locusts and stuff like that. And so I wanted to take this time to talk about that a little bit. I get the question a lot uh, whether you should rent or buy some of the equipment um, when owning your own land. And there's a lot of variables in that. I own my own skid steer. Uh, my skid steer was something I obtained when I had a tree farm I don't know, back in 2012, I used it to um, spade trees and ball them and then uh, sell them. So that paid for itself, and I've kept that around, and it's been incredibly useful. If you were going to buy one tool uh, for your acreage, I would say a skid steer is a really would be a really good choice, especially with all the attachments. As far as a job like this, clearing land where you need an excavator, if you remember back when I originally cleared uh, my land for where my house was gonna go, I rented a small 20 horsepower excavator, uh, mainly uh, because I could haul it myself. It was fairly cheap, and the trees that I had to dig were only, you know, anywhere from three to six inches in diameter. I did have a couple bigger ones but for the most part they were all smaller so that excavator worked perfect and i rented that uh, this job the trees are just far too big as you can see right behind me i mean there's some pretty big trees that i had to take down so i rented the biggest mini x that i could get which is about twenty thousand pounds the one i got was a john deere 85g and it did a really good job so if you're asking yourself, why would I clear out a bunch of trees? Well, a couple of reasons. A bunch of them were dead. I have a bunch of ash trees that the ash borer has killed. And I wanted to get those trees down because it's good hardwood if you get it um, early enough. But um, ash, ash seems to rot a little bit faster. So I didn't want to wait too long and then not be able to use that. There's some pretty big trees that I'll be able to cut up into some boards and then the rest of it I'll use as firewood. And then there's also, I know I've talked about this before, a bunch of honey locusts, the ones with the big huge thorns. Those things um, I've had, I have quite a few of those on my property and I've been working on basically um, eradicating them because if you have ever seen these things, they are violent and they have like these incredibly sharp thorns that range anywhere from a half inch to five inches long and they will go through your boots they will go through any kind of tire let's check out some of that footage and then we'll talk about this a little bit more so let's talk a little bit about running an excavator um, first and foremost the most important thing is to take your time. Anytime you're using heavy equipment, you don't want to get in a hurry. Those are, they're powerful, they're big, and you don't want to get in a hurry and get yourself in a jam because, you know, you could flip them over or you could tear a hydraulic line off. Uh, I'm not trying to scare you guys, I'm just trying to make you uh, understand that these are, a, are, powerful machines and they need to be respected and you need to take your time with them.
there were so many dead trees and brush and thorn honey locust that we just wanted to clean that up and then uh, I don't know plant some kind of food plot there this year and then we'll probably uh, put a bunch more trees there the following year so I got uh, I'm gonna do clear out about the same amount of area down in the bottom tomorrow if you're clearing land one thing you're gonna be doing is taking down trees and the reason I choose an excavator is because I like to get the root balls out um, one especially where you're building you have to get them out but I like to get all the roots out so typically what I'll do is I'll square up to the tree and then I'll attack the root depending on what kind of tree if it's a hardwood tree you're gonna have a lot more stronger roots that you're gonna have to deal with so you might have to start further out from the tree but attack the left and the right side of the tree breaking the roots then the front and then you want to push the tree away from you and then once you get it on the ground push it away from you and drop it then you can pull out the rest of the roots on the back side of the tree and that's the a good safe way to do it so you don't accidentally pull the tree down on top of you um, which would be an awful situation so once you get that tree um, pulled out and out of the hole these excavators have a small dozer blade on the front of them and you can literally just push the dirt right back into the hole it it works out really well and it, you, it'll take you a few hours two three hours to get comfortable with it but once you do you can find out you can be really efficient on these machines if you don't have a lot of experience on an excavator i'd stay away from steep hills although you can handle some pretty steep hills with these you just have to know um, how to approach the hill how to go down the hill and there's there are good videos out there that show you how to do that and it's really not all that hard as long as you take your time so I get the question a lot of whether they should somebody should rent should buy or should pay somebody I always believe that if you can do something on your own you should do it you know I have probably 16 hours into this land clearing job that I'm doing right now and I have you know 1400 bucks in this rental now if I was to pay somebody to come in here and do it you're looking at in our area you're looking at anywhere from 150 to 200 dollars an hour for the machine and the operator so just in you know to make it easy 200 dollars an hour 16 that's 3200 bucks and that doesn't include the hours on the skid steer so and I still have quite a bit of uh, trees to move around with my skid steer yet so you're looking at probably a six to eight thousand dollar job that I did for you know probably sixteen hundred dollars once I factor in my fuel and all that so definitely worth it um, it's just uh, maybe conquering some fears and and trying something that you haven't done before but if you've never rented an excavator for I would start out with something smaller just get the feel for it and then move your way up so if you guys are thinking about using bigrents.com for your rental I have a specific phone number and web address that is specific to Marshall Remodel uh, for you guys to use use that that way they know you guys are uh, found us on our YouTube channel I have I've had three rentals from them and they've all went really well um, I don't want to ever suggest um, doing something unless it it works good and it, it has for me so it's a good option for you uh, for example when I rented that lift uh, I realized as I started framing the, up the trusses that it was just too dangerous to do it without one I called I think it was like a, a Thursday afternoon around 2 o'clock and I had that lift at my house by 9 o'clock the next morning so that is pretty fast and it was uh, really easy so keep that in mind check out bigrents.com um, I'll put that number and the website in the description and I'll also put it across the bottom of the screen another bonus of doing your own land clearing you can pile up the trees and the brush in piles that you want so you see behind me I have a pile of all the trees that I'm gonna cut up for firewood if I'm gonna take trees down I want to use them I got a pile I got piles that I'm gonna cut up I have bigger logs that I'm gonna mill and use for different projects and then I got piles that are just brush 
and stuff like that that I'm going to burn. So that's what I like to do. I like to get it in certain piles and then as time allows I'll come down here with my dump trailer and truck and I'll cut up some firewood, put it in the trailer and haul it up to the house. So probably next spring I'll come in and I'll plant a bunch of different trees that uh, we like to replace these and more desirable. So I hope guys that this video was helpful for somebody and hopefully by the end of the week we'll be back working on the house. I got all my painting stuff ready and we are ready to rock and roll. So as soon as they get the house, uh, the drywall done, we will be back at it and we'll be bringing you videos as we go. So thanks for watching and we will catch you on the next video.